Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 84. What we're going to look at today is non-contiguous data. And if you watched Excel Video 83, you know that contiguous data is just data that's next to each other. This is non-contiguous because here's what I'm graphing for April. Here's what I'm graphing for May. Here's what I'm graphing for June. I've got these percentages in between, and those percentages make my data so it's not contiguous anymore. If I click down here, which I try to do a a trick like I did in Excel Video 83. I'm not getting the highlights here because I don't have a contiguous set of data. Well, there's other ways to add the data, and that's what we're going to work on today. Let's add July 2010 first. And I'm going to highlight July 2010 because I'm going to need that when I add it. And I'm going to do Control C to copy. I'm going to come down here and highlight the collections chart. I'm going to do Control V to paste. And it finds the 2010 for July there and plots my data just fine. It does it does exactly what I want it to do and all as well. I'm going to escape to get rid of the highlight. I'm going to undo. I want to show you one more trick. When you highlight, Excel is going to do its best to put it where you want it. But if, if it's not doing what you want, when you copy, highlight the chart, go to paste and paste special, and it'll say, do you want to add the cells as a new point or a new series? And it's a new series. Where do you want the values? The Y. Well, I've got April, May, and June in columns, so I want July in columns too. And my series name is in the first row up there. That's in July 2010 right there. So it's going to work just fine. Try paste special if copy and paste doesn't do it for you one time. And that may help you get it in. The other thing I wanted to show you while we're at this, we, I've still got non-contiguous data out here for August because I've got this percent thing in the middle. Let me show you how to add this. If I click on my chart, chart tools, design, I want to select data. And select data source knows about April, May, June, and July. Let's add. What's the series name? It's August. Where are the series values? Well, they're right here. And I click OK. And now it's added August 2010. And we should be good to go. And sure enough, if you look down here, we are. There's August 2010. It's in light blue. And it's added the data for me just fine. We're going to spend some more time in the Select Data Source window. There's a couple of more tricks we can play in this window that may be helpful to you. But for the time being, I've got April, May, June, July, and August, and my data is not next to each other. That's what I wanted to show you in Excel Video 84. Stay tuned next time. I want to show you a clever function in Excel. That when you add it to a formula and make things work, you can automatically add chart, you can automatically add chart data to the chart as, uh, as you add data to um, an existing set of uh, chart data or an existing table. It'll uh, be a good example, and it's really a clever formula. We'll learn about that formula. It's called offset, and we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.